Hey, this is Nathan with Crazy Eye Marketing, and in this video, I want to give you a quick tour of our Shopify or e commerce sales funnel. And as a side note, I did write this long blog post that covers the strategy, tactics, tricks, tips, hacks, etc., for this funnel, and I'll link to it down below. So I do recommend you check that out. But let's go ahead and get into a tour of the funnel. Now, this is the structure of the funnel we have a sales page. If they don't buy the product on the sales page, we have a card abandonment series. They do buy the product on the sales page, we'll show them OTO number one or one time offer number one. Hopefully they buy this and go on to OTO number two, but if they say no to OTO number one, we can go ahead and show them a downsell. Whether they buy the downsell or not, we'll still show them OTO number two and then we'll bring them to our order confirmation page. So that's the general structure of the funnel. Now we'll go through the pages very quickly. So this is the sales page right here and we have our headline, we have sub headline, we have a video of the product, but you could of course use an image of the product. We have some accolades here and then just an arrow pointing to the order form, you know, trying to show people exactly where to go. Uh, this is a two step order form right here. So on step one, they insert all their shipping information. So they put in their first name, their email address, and then their address and click this go to step two button. And on step two, they can go ahead and select the product that they want to order, enter their credit card information, and then they have the option to take advantage of an order bump. And having an order bump is one of the easiest and fastest ways to increase average order size. So I definitely recommend you take advantage of this feature. Moving on down the page, we have an area for testimonials because a little social proof can go a long way. Then we get into a little description and feature benefit bullets about the product itself. And we include another picture of the product. Moving down, we have the fast action bonus. And this is just a real easy way to inject some scarcity into your offer. And it works by offering somebody a bonus if they go ahead and buy your product within the next 11 minutes or so. And typically this bonus is simply just some digital product or resource that you're probably gonna include anyway. But by calling attention to it and putting a timestamp on it, it really makes people act fast. Like on one of our sales pages, when we added this fast action bonus, our conversion rate went from 7% to 11%, which is a 57% increase in conversions. So I definitely recommend at least trying a fast action bonus to see if it can help your conversion rates. Moving on, we have an about the company or about the creator section. And then we have a frequently asked questions section, a 100% money guarantee section, and then we just close out the page with a final call to action. And as I'm sure you noticed, there are buttons strewn throughout the pages and they all bring you back up to the order form. So that's the sales page, moving on to OTO number one. This right here is our OTO number one page. We started off with a notice that says, you have successfully purchased product X, however, your order is not complete. Please check out this exclusive offer. And the reason we do this right here is because sales funnels are still kind of new and a lot of people might not realize that they're still going through the checkout process. So we just want to make them aware that there's still some more offers to come. And then we have our headline and subheadline, which bring people into this video. And this video is typically about three to five minutes where you're trying to sell your OTO product. And in that blog post that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I have a structure that you can use for your OTO video. So I recommend you go ahead and check that out. Scrolling on down, we have a few bullets here. So that way you can reiterate the product they're gonna get and the features and benefits about the product. And then we have a giant button here to add OTO number one to their order. And we also have the option for them to say, no, I don't wanna add OTO number one to my order. Now this right here is the downsell page and it is bright red. So that way it captures their attention. And all we're doing here on this page is just asking, are you sure? Like, are you sure you don't want OTO number one? It is an exclusive offer that, that you're not gonna see anywhere else. So we're just giving them another chance to take us up on OTO number one. Moving on, there's OTO number two page, which looks quite similar to OTO number one page, except for the colors. And the reason we change the colors is so that way people realize that this is a different offer but you'll typically include another three to five minute video for a different product. You'll have your bullets here. And then again, the options to say yes or no. And whether they say yes or no, they'll wind up on our order confirmation page, which looks like this right here. So we congratulate them on their order. We let them know that it is complete now. And we give them a breakdown of their order. We give them the option to reach out to us should they have any questions or need some help. And then I also recommend including an offer wall. So basically listing out other products you guys sell and linking to those products. So those are the five pages of the funnel, but right now I'm including five additional bonus pages and I'm gonna run through those just real quick. So I have a different style of sales page right here and it's modeled after Amazon sales pages. 
So we have our product video or image over here on the left hand side. And then we have a little summary or breakdown of what's included with our product to include the pricing and everything. We have our add to cart button, money back guarantee, and just some elements to make people feel comfortable. Right here we have our sales message so you can go ahead and include whatever you need in order to get your sales message across. So we throw that in here. Then we have some frequently asked questions section. We have some customer reviews and then a big button to add to cart down at the very bottom. Moving on. The second bonus page is a standalone order form page. And this is what it looks like right here. So we have our title, we have the order form, we have an order bump, we have a little screenshot of the image, we reiterate the features and benefits of what they're about to order. We have a order breakdown right here, which is actually a dynamic value and it would appear if we had some products selected. We have our money back seal right here. And then we have a few testimonials just to make people feel comfortable with what they're about to purchase. The third bonus page is a short form sales page. So it starts off looking quite similar to our long form sales page, except when we scroll down just a little bit, we'll see that we reach the bottom in no time. And this is just a simple little sales page, but it works very well for selling cheap, simple products that don't require a lot of sales copy or sales messaging. And you can crank these pages out really fast. So that's the third bonus page included with the funnel. The fourth bonus page is our highest converting squeeze page. And while it looks quite simple, this page converts like gangbusters and it regularly converts at 60 to 80%. And so if you wanna start capturing leads with your Shopify or e-commerce sales funnel, that's available to you. And the fifth bonus page is our welcome and pre-sale page. And this is the page somebody will land on after opting into your squeeze page. And it just tells them to check their email and then you have your welcome message and pre-sale message. You'll have a few bullets to reiterate what they learn in this video and then you can go ahead and link them to your sales page. So all told this sales funnel has 10 unique pages and again I have this long blog post that covers the strategy and tactics behind the funnel so I recommend you check that out and again I link to that down below this video and that's it I thank you for your time.